As y'all know, we organize the highlights around the four core values in this district, learning, character, community, and joy. And so we will begin with learning. Students at all five high schools in Richland too have earned academic honors from the College Board National Recognition Programs. According to the College Board, the students earned this recognition because of their academic achievements in school and outstanding performance on the PSAT and or AP exams. Under the program, students could receive the National African American Recognition Award, the National Hispanic Recognition Award, the National Rural and Small Town Award, and or the National Indigenous Award. Blythewood High School's National African American Recognition Award winners are Bryce Allen, Noah Brown, Ano Calhoun, Zania Castile, Bryce Cruz, Blue Martin, Corbin McCullum, Stephen Azag. Ozagiwana Jr. and Carlise Sears, Christian Stewart, Aja Williams, Ava Woods, and Drayden Young. Richland Northeast High's National African American Recognition Award winners are Tamron Buford, I did a lot boom fam Uide, Everett Joyner, Kenyon McBee, Freya Morley, Ladeja Williams, and Tyshawn Witherspoon. Ridgeview High School's African Amer National African American Recognition winners are Amanda Anderson, Tamia Chappelle, Edward Davis, Taylor Graham, Layla Hill, Yamari Hunt, Taryn Myers, Morgan Perry, Kennedy Pogue, Grayson Simmons, Bry and Bryson Williams. Ridgeview High School also had National Hispanic Recognition Award winners, and they are Sophia Delancey and Adriana Pinto, Pinto Rios. Spring Valley's National African American Recognition winners are Everlast Chagoba, Myron Dobson, Mark Hines, Anya Hopkins, Rachel Johnson, Salia Salters, Antoine Scott, Mackenzie Simmons, Xavier Simmons, William Smith II, and Ryan Young. Hispanic recognition winners from Spring Valley include Maximiliano Hernandez and Gabri Gabriela Mieja. Westwood High School's National African American Recognition Award winners are Ella Boston and Aria, Aria Caldwell and Ivana Thickpin. Westwood High School also had the district's only National Rural and Small Town Award winner, and that goes to McKenna Brown. For the character portion of our report tonight, we want to highlight our district principals. As you know, October is National Principals Month, and it's time for honoring principals for their significant impact on the success and well-being of students. Our principals would not be able to do this without utilizing a myriad of character traits that are needed for the many situations they encounter daily. We are celebrating the work of our principals by featuring each of them in a local newspaper advertisement in the Country Chronicle and Northeast News. We want to thank our principals for their fearless leadership, their steadfast commitment, and passion for this work. Thank you for your faithfulness, loyalty, cheerful attitudes, and of all the great things you do to make this district premier. In the area of community, October provides us with lots of opportunities to celebrate important things in our school district. One of those is National School Bus Safety Week, which was actually last week, but it's always important to talk about school bus safety. So a big hats off to all of our school bus drivers who transport our students to and from school every day and to other school related activities. We would not be able to successfully operate the school district without, without our bus drivers and on behalf of everyone, we thank them so much. And for our public and those who drive around our school buses, please make sure you are aware of all the laws and safety procedures that you need to follow in order to keep our students and our bus drivers safe. Students at 24 schools in Richland 2 participated in the state's 21st annual National Day of Concern and Student Pledge. This was on October 19th. This is against gun violence. Students in middle and high schools are signing a voluntary pledge promising they will never take a gun to school, will never resolve a dispute with a gun, and will use their influence to prevent friends from using guns to resolve disputes. Elementary school students pledge not to touch a gun if they see it, to tell a teacher, and to assume all guns are loaded. 
Last week was America's Safe Schools Week. Significant efforts are underway in our district and in schools across the country to improve safety and security. While district leaders continuously seek ways to be proactive when it comes to school safety, our success depends on the support and involvement of our entire community. And for some joy, for the 35th consecutive year, the Association of School Business Officials International awarded Richland II the Certificate of Excellence in Financial Reporting. ASBO's International Certificate of Excellence recognizes districts that have met the program's high standards for financial reporting and transparency. Richland II earned the Certificate of Excellence for its annual comprehensive financial report for the fiscal year that ended June 30, 2021. At its annual conference this month in Orlando, Florida, the American Association of School Personnel Administrators recognized the outstanding work we are doing in the areas of personnel services and diversity, equity, and inclusion. The organization selected Senior Chief Human Resource Officer Sean Williams to receive the Herb Salinger Personnel Administrator of the Year Award, and it bestowed the Distinguished William L. Hunter Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Award upon the district thanks to the district's efforts through the Premier 100 program. The architectural designers of the Center for Knowledge North will be recognized in a ceremony next month. The 2022 Design Awards jury for the AIA Columbia chapter will present Goodwin Mills Kaywood with the Merit Award in new construction for the work they did for CFK North at a ceremony to be held Thursday, November 3rd. And that concludes tonight's district highlights. Thank you.